what's up chicas and welcome back to my channel so today's video we're going to um be talking about highlighting and contouring for beginners expectations versus reality and my tips and tricks to achieve a normal highlight and contour so as you guys can see most of us we rely on youtube to actually um, uh, teach us how to put makeup on, how to tie your shoe, how to brush your teeth, how to... All these random weird things that it's just like, I don't know, YouTube has become pretty much our encyclopedia or our... Not encyclopedia, I would say our textbook sort of thing because it's... um We Google, we YouTube everything. So here I am ladies on my computer and also my phone because this is a major you must learn how to contour and highlight. So of course bring out your computer and just pretty much start researching how to highlight and contour. I don't know. Let's keep looking. So here I am on YouTube and I'm going to go ahead and search how to contour and highlight for beginners because I am a beginner I mean I just want something really simple a uh, duh so I am searching 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 and oh, I found Jacqueline Hill who doesn't want to see how she contour and highlights hello she's a freaking pro thumbs up if you like Jacqueline Hill so I keep searching and looking for more um, people to actually learn from and hello who else then also Nicole I mean I love her look at how she freaking contours and voila that is our expectation so that's easy how hard could it be let's go and get started so something about actually highlighting triangle I know we have to do a triangle and bring a fan up your forehead and then all these areas you have to highlight and of course we um, have to blend so let's blend away and blend 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 and of course we are going to grab the contour color and place it on the hollow parts of our face and please do not forget to place it on your temples of your face I think I got it oh wait hold on we gotta blend and make it look better there we go I I think is, is, is this how you do it I think so uh, you know what? I want to make it work because hello, I just freaking did it. I contour and highlighted my face. Instagram. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how I pretty much highlight and contour. I first of all, I am not a professional. I am no um, makeup artist or anything like that. I just have my tips and my tricks on how to contour. So let's do pretty much my version of. Um, Contouring so let's start off. I have my face pretty much. Um, I put my foundation on and everything else I tend to first start off with pretty much the highlight effect All I do is pretty much just use my concealer and I use sort of another concealer to that pretty much gives me a highlight effect And in this case, I'm using my regular um, arm weight artistry concealer and then for the highlight effect I like to use the uh, Maybelline H rewind dark erase dark eraser dark eraser dark circle um i pretty much like to call dark circle eraser i don't know why it's like that but that's what i use so what i'm gonna first be doing is i'm just pretty much going to clear uh, conceal pretty much in a triangle shape this is pretty much as i've seen it here and pretty much it does pretty much pretty much pretty much it really does make a huge difference rather than just uh conceal just your under eye because you want to make sure everything is completely even so after i apply my concealer what i like to do, i like to go in with this one reason why is because it's also a little bit more on the creamy and it's super easy to blend and it gives me a highlight effect and then what i like to do is i like to bring it on the bridge of my nose i do like to make my nose a lot um, narrower smaller and now if you have a small forehead you can always highlight all the way up and do a fan so you can actually expand more because what you highlight is just pretty much going to appear bigger and what you contour is pretty much going to become more defined so that's pretty much what contour and highlight is so i don't have a huge um forehead i don't really mind i don't really care for like huge fan out um highlighting contour so i just like to bring a little bit between my eyebrows and just a little fan just like that not too much 
So I like to use my beauty blender because it sort of blends everything very well. And pretty much just blend everything. Not a big rocket science. And I did have um, makeup under, so maybe that's why it looks a little bit darker, my under eyes. Because I kind of just took it off to... I actually like to go in and what I've been loving right now and I've been using for highlight and contour is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Reason why is because the powders are super creamy and they're super blendable and super pigmented. I just think this palette is a must if you don't have any highlight and contour parted palettes and you want to start out. Um, I highly recommend it. It's really on the pricey side. A dupe, not a dupe for it, but a... Um, a cheap alternative, which it works really great as well, would be the NYX um, high, uh, Pro Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. It'll be this one. Um, it is very pigmented and they are blendable. I just think that this is a little bit more creamier than this one, but it's pretty much my thought on it. But honestly, that one is very cheap and it's really, really good. So I like to take a brush. People, people use a thin um, angle brush. People use... I'm going to tell you, people use the Ida, Ida brush from uh, NARS, which is the flat one, to get precise um, contouring. Again, this is pretty much a contour for beginners, pretty much, because that's what I like to do. Um, I'm going to show you really, really quick if I can find it. I actually don't have it with me. Anyways, I'm going to show you pretty much some of the ones that people use. People use the Real Technique contour brush which is pretty much a dome shaped brush like that it has the little points on it so pretty much you actually get it on that hollow parts of your face which is pretty pretty good i don't i i have it I, i've used it other people like to use the sigma large angle contour brush which is pretty much um if you get rid of everything else in your hands francis it'll be a lot better it's pretty much this um angle brush and also um once you set it under your the hollow parts of your cheek it actually blends very well as well uh, these are brushes you can use you can use a small angle brush any kind of brush um actually will help me personally i have actually adopted adopted these two brushes and they are the elf blush brush these brushes are really thin and they pretty much have like an angle pretty much as you can see it has like a dome shape but also has like a pointy shape to it but they're very they're not so uh they're not so um tapered so actually it's like not too harsh on it so i'm actually being i could use it to blend the powders easily so one is for the contour and then the other one's for the powders and they're actually three dollars it was very cheap so what i like to do is first i like to set my makeup and for that i like to use the color banana and the regular powder to set the my makeup reason why i use banana is because banana actually tends to cut and hide all that dark that i have you can still see it with my concealer but with this i like to actually set it so I just like to pat on the powder under my eye so it actually sets and it doesn't crease on me. And then with that powder on the corner, I sort of set everything and bring a little highlight to my face. And I do also where I apply the concealer on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose. Okay. So now for the con for the contour, usually people use, usually you're supposed to use like a sort of like a grayish undertone bronzer or shadow to create that pretty much shadow effect to your skin, um, to your face. Pretty much, again, people use contour and highlight just to pretty much narrow and emphasize areas of your body, uh, areas of your face. Also, you can contour your breast and everything, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I'll ever show you guys that, but whatever. When I'm just doing regular basic contour, which is that what I'm doing right here, I like to grab the middle color with that brush, and I like to pretty much uh, pack on color on the tip of the brush. Okay, so here's the trick. Most people use a spoon. They put a spoon on the apples of their cheek, on that part of that bone, and then whatever that spoon is, uh, like wherever it ends, pretty much that's where you contour. I don't like to use anything like that or tape or my finger or anything because when I I used to do that. I used to soup the brush and I just had to get like, I, I had a, I would get like a harsh line and it was very hard for me to blend, even though you can use blendable, super blendable um, powders, but still it was really hard. So one thing you can do is you can grab the, um, 
the handle of the brush and you can roll it on your cheek and where that ends and you can feel the cheekbone that's pretty much where you will cut that's pretty much where you want to contour that's the hollow parts of your face that's pretty much where you want to become where you want to create a shadow effect um so pretty much there other people kind of like tend to put it on top of their um ear lobe and then just kind of angle the brush or the other one which is the one that's worked forever and it's like the best one ever is just go ahead and do a fishy face or a kiss up or or pucker up or all those things and pretty much once you do that you're kind of going to see that hollow part of your face so let's do pucker up fishy face actually you can feel it so that's what i'm going to do and i want to show you guys some people start from the front up i like to start pretty much on the from the middle towards the back of my face so i can actually um b start blending less is more so always start with a little bit a very light hand grab the brush by the end of the tip of the handle so you can actually just lightly dust some powder onto your face and then you can go back and build it and i like to blend it upwards onto a little bit on the cheeks on the cheekbones and again do the same thing to the other face <laughs> to the other face like you had two faces come on to the other side of the face okay so pretty much that's just pretty much what you want to do you just want to get a little bit of warmth into your skin and to your face it's, it's not a big deal Sometimes we get scared because we see other people here on YouTube doing it like really, really harsh. I mean, you are a pro makeup and you can do it like that. I just do it a simple way. I'm a mother and I have two kids. I have a house. I have a husband. I have a blog. I have a YouTube channel. So I tend to put makeup on quick. So a little bit more simple. So pretty much that's what it looks like. We will blend everything away. But don't freak out if you are pro at contouring and you're like, what is she doing? We will blend. And again, do the same things to the... Um, temples of your face i like to pretty much do it on right here on the side and bring it up a little bit very close to my hairline like this so you can see just bring a little warmth to your face now when it comes to my nose i like to grab a blending brush fluffy blending brush and with the same color i like to go on the sides of my nose contouring your nose is extremely easy just pretty much on the side and my problem is right here on the bottom so I tend to um, work my way very well on this tip right here that I don't like but what can we do you know God gave you the nose you gotta stick with it thank God for highlighting contouring and always make sure that you blend I like to use excuse me I like, I like to use a dual fiber brush to always blend any harsh lines completely natural as possible okay so now pretty much you can just apply um blush on top of it pretty much on your cheekbone and then the highlight to be honest with you i just like to um apply just a little bit of bronzer since we're already in summer and just pretty much a glow of bronze face is what i go for so I just apply a little bit of bronzer on top of that contour just to pretty much make it a little bit more warmth and look like a sun kiss um, glow to my skin. And then of course you can, use, you can use a highlight and the highlight pretty much I like to use it on top of the cheekbone. I don't like to bring it very close to my under eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and use the um, this one right here. <laughs> Honestly, and I just take the same brush. Sometimes I have a smaller brush, and I take the highlight. I don't really like to don't like to highlight a lot unless I'm actually going out. But in this case, I'm going to show you just pretty much on that top of that brow bone and a little bit on the bridge of your nose. That's how I do the highlight. And then again with that brush, you want to brush everything away. So pretty much that's what it looks like ladies it's not very complicated it's not like really bad it's just pretty much simple and i really i really try making it as simple as possible um 
Again, you can get any tips and tricks from uh, YouTube. That's pretty much what I like to do. I like to go to YouTube and find out. But for me, I just think that it's pretty much how you work it. It's pretty much how you, how much you put practice onto your face and just have fun with it. Don't 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 overdo it because sometimes you think you are you wanting to get that perfect perfect like highlight and contour like Kim Kardashian, but let's face it it's really hard unless you really want to unless you want to school or you have that awesome talent if you're like me if you're a mom and you just love makeup and you like putting on makeup and you like to look good and you don't really have much time to actually do that whole like fan out on your forehead and under and here and there I hopefully this uh, video helped you on how to get a pretty much decent <laughs> highlight and contour so I really hope you like this video I will try to do more um, expectations versus reality but bring you the actual tip on how I get reality um, contour or reality smoke eye or reality Kylie Jenner lip or anything like that if you really like this video enjoy this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you want to see any more um, reality versus expectations videos and you want to have you have a specific subject go ahead and leave it in the comments below and definitely I will look forward to it thank you so much for your continued support Mwah. hugs and kisses I love you all thank you for watching and be blessed precious pearls I will see you guys on my next video bye